your defense. Hmm. You're pretty good at bashing heads. <sighs> Leaving us out again, huh? It's like a bad habit. Come on, tell us your plan. Sorry to spring this on you. Come on, come on. So she has to leave the kids, huh? I'll stay behind too. So will I. I won't go anywhere without you. Say something. You can't be okay with this. We'll be sending kids over to the human side as soon as we free them. We need you to help them get settled. Us? Remember how Mr. Minerva helped us by setting up that bunker? It's our turn to pay that favor forward. I can't believe Isabella has a soft side. Stay with them. They need someone who can raise them and protect them. They need a mom. Besides the little dark. It's so awesome to see her like this. Like it's it's just, it's a shock, especially how evil she was in the Kids first season. Like and how Connie got killed. I'll see they get it. So I had to. Be safe and hurry back to us. Don't do anything stupid. Got it? Got it. Will you help too? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I guess. Yeah, I'll do my part. I'm gonna miss you, but we can play when you get back. Mm -hmm. So Emma, Norman, and Rio. We'll take care of everyone. And the others. See you soon. Decide to stay so that they can actually have them safe, so that they can actually make peace with the demons, if I got that right. Because there was like a bad like correlation between, you know, them and the humans, especially how they go and they eat the humans. Take you long, I'll go get you. So please be careful over there. And hurry back. Yeah. I'll hurry. I promise. This is really heartbreaking. And a lot of people say that they skipped the arcs, but I haven't got a chance to catch up with this season, unfortunately. I see like half the episodes, but I actually really like the way this is ending so far. A lot of people they disagree because they thought it was disappointing, but you know, just seeing how they're all safe. They're actually in New York, but looks of it. Yep, I see that um that tower back there, because this is taking place in the twenties um, 70s. So definitely in the future, you know, seems like they're stuck in the past. It's just, it's so crazy how they're like back in the human route. Which means these kids can live free. And being in nature, and I'm not sure who's playing the guitar. Wow, and not to mention that girl, she reminds me of that, um, that black woman that, that Isabella had as an assistant before she died. And they actually able to go to school. I'm like a cop right for this. And they were singing a happy birthday. So there's only 11 episodes. And man, Don has grown. Honestly. Wow. Oh, it says 5-5 five, five on it. I wonder who that girl is. Wait. Is this one they're older? I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. They're still the same age, right? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this is a lot to take. It ain't over yet. So those are supposed to be the demons that Emma's trying to make peace with. Yeah, I definitely miss a lot though. It's amazing how this is all started of like how, you know, these kids basically got killed in the first place by the demon society. But again, the demons want to survive as well, based off you know, eating their brains and whatnot. 
as graphic as that Gears. Huh, am I actually making peace with that girl? Interesting. Hmm. And there's an airplane. <laughs> Can't catch me, Same age. So they finally reunited. You gotta be kidding me! This was an awesome ending. Oh my god! Are you serious? So wait a minute. Okay, I'm not sure. It, oops, damn it. Oh, sorry, thank you. But to our dear next heroes make mistakes. A darn chain. Ripped up again. I gotta fix that on him. But basically, okay, it seems like as though they grow a little bit. Like dying, he looks much taller. And then for I forgot what that little boy's name is. Um, it sounds like it looks like he was like a year or two older by the looks of it. And I'm guessing Emma, Norman, and Rio and the others actually made peace with, with the the demons, and they're actually able to get back. Oh, looks like a pentagon. <sighs> Um, I kind of recognize this scene. I don't like the looks of this. Okay, that's pretty touchy. What? Honestly. Mmm. Let's have this fight. I'm watching that. Can't believe season four. And then Rick and Morty will be coming on tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait till then. I, I I don't know what to say. I hope they actually enjoy like like the last five minutes of the Pocasilla, the Neverland, because I'm guessing it's over. Cause seeing that this is supposed to be like the last episode, because all the kids got reunited after they actually have split up, especially what Isabel Isabella did in the first season of how they actually had to skip that wall, and then they basically had to get away from those demons in the first couple episodes throughout the forest, and then basically Emma meeting that demon girl, I forgot her name was, and they actually have to have their little secret hideout and whatnot. There was just like a lot that has, actually has gone on within like just 11 episodes, so there's only like a total of 22, which is kind of funny because there's like half the episodes of Soul Eater since I've been watching that anime on another channel. Honestly, I don't want to say for this anime, it's... Like, there's a lot to hold. A lot of people say it's supporting, but I think it's really touching now. I mean, I, I did kind of cry a little bit, or at least wanted to tear up when I seen Isabella actually tearing up, because I never see her actually having that type of nature, but this was a really great episode. I cannot believe it's over. That's why we actually have that new... Oh, I can't wait till next week. I'm Yashihime being um, aired, which means the post online has been ended. 11 p.m. This is out there even for us. They can hear you. And de I definitely got to do a reaction of Rick and Morty as well. I post to finish up Luca, but I just had to watch this because this is the last episode. And I hope that y'all actually enjoyed watching it. So, I don't know. It's really quiet out there. But, I don't know. What do y'all think about this, um, like, this season? At least the whole series in general. Like, literally. It just seems like the kids have gotten older uh, somehow. My opinion. So, I wasn't really paying attention and listening to that. But, honestly... I, I, I just don't know what to say. Like, I was trying to catch up on the episodes with Tsunami Weekly, but the thing is that I was actually able to, at least from last week, and this scene, like, um, Isabella and, of course, the other maidens being together, I didn't expect this to even happen once again, because seeing, like, how she actually was in her evil side, so... Ugh, I, honestly, I'm just speechless for words, but I just hope, once again, that you all actually enjoy watching this, and... Feel free to actually share in the comments of what you think about this episode. And this is the English dub on Tsunami, by the way. Can't believe it. Ugh.